Biotechnology has the opportunity to replace petroleum in, the, in its uh, use for making a variety of industrial type of products. One of which is right next to me, which is this tire, a concept tire that has been produced using isoprene made with bioprocessing processing from corn. And it's been produced with the collaboration with the uh, Goodyear Rubber and Tire Company and Genencore International. It's been on display here at the bio meeting and it was also in dis uh, on display in Copenhagen in December at the climate meeting. And this is just the first example of hopefully billions of tires that will be made utilizing uh, biomass uh, uh, resources versus petroleum type of uh, feedstocks. So the science behind producing bioisoprene from renewable fe feedstocks is based on the use of synthetic biology and designing cell factories that will take the renewable sugars and convert them through metabolic pathway engineering to isoprene. This incorporates the latest molecular biology advances that come from a variety of universities that we have collaborations with, as well as skilled scientists in our own laboratories. The core competency of Genencore is the design and operation of the cell factory. So it's not just the design using synthetic biology uh, types of methods, but it's also integrating that into the larger scheme of operating and designing uh, bioprocesses that will utilize the sugars that, co that come from renewable feedstocks and convert that into an efficient, effective, cost-effective, uh, competitive uh, process for making bioisoprene in the future. So how much oil or petroleum can be displaced uh, by using bioisoprene coming from agricultural biomass type of uh, feedstocks? Well, in this tire, a, a, a normal tire utilizes somewhere between 5 and 10 gallons of, uh, of oil to make a tire. So um, what we're looking to do is to provide the alternative in the future of this, the, the displacement of petroleum products uh, using biorenewable and therefore reducing the need uh, for importing more oil.